Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D with you here on Monday night, just about um, half eight, quarter to nine, at, just home from Lindaban. That's the local area in where the Roscommon races is. We call it Lindaban. It's like Ballybrit in Galway. Uh, windy enough up there, chilly at times. Uh, nice crowd. Um, funny sort of racing and a funny evening as well. Uh, I missed the first two and I got in for the third race and I went up to have a tinner each way on Timmerood and the bookie gave me uh, a slip instead of having a tinner each way in it he had 76 each way on it and the horse won so I was in a dilemma what will I do so uh, I had a chat with a couple of, uh, and uh, they was were saying, Jill, I don't know, and one a couple of them were saying I'd keep it. So uh, I had a chat with myself, Annie, anyway, with my inner self, and I went up to him and I said, uh, I think you made a mistake. So he gave me 30 quid extra and he was very thankful for it. He said that was, there was a mistake that I got the wrong docker, but I, I, I said it was just a genuine cock up by whoever was on the machine. But uh, I had uh, I hit the play spot. As well, uh, lucky. I don't know how I did it. Um, I just for a euro, uh, a euro and seventeen cents actually. It paid uh, just over a hundred, and um, had a couple of bets in that went down. Um, the one in the last race ran disappointing, and the one in the the maiden uh, Noel Mead's horse was left at the start. Um, race was over for uh, for her straight away. Uh, we got off to a great start today with Queen's Fair. Drifted like a bird. I couldn't understand the reason for that. And won. And it'll only probably go up four or five pounds for that. And I'd say that she'll learn a lot from today to her first run of the turf. And she might win again. I think we'll be on, on her the next day. And then I have no idea what happened to the horse in the 720 of Southern. From going looking like a winner to... I don't know what happened. I, I couldn't see it because there was a good few rounds. We're watching it outside with the, at the uh, on the television outside. And it, how did he get his foot out of the iron? Or was he trying to jump out or what? Or I've no idea. I'm just watching it again now tonight. But uh, it was a winning day, but it could have been much better, I thought. Um, I didn't see the last race. I forgot to look at that. Uh, I was on my way home. But there was a nice crowd on the bus this morning. Merton O'Sullivan, uh, Neil Hasselden, Thomas Balf, And uh, he was saying the, the Dazzer would might run a good race in Roscommon. And it did. It was third. I actually included in the play spot. Uh, and it was the leg that I got up. Um, Eric Kevill and uh, the life of Razor. He's all um, done up for York this week. Mark McKee. Uh, Martin McDermott was home from uh, Pearl River in New York. Uh, he's staying around now for the Connacht final, I think. Um, Peter Wood arrived and he was singing The Gambler. He was pretending he was Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Daniel Greaves was in great form and Michael McCarthy was even in better form. He was coming from Parky Wren uh, after the win of the match on Sunday and there wasn't a langer from Cork to be seen. I wonder why. I don't know. So anyway, uh, well, uh, off to the races we went. Uh, I've only won for tomorrow and it's on the flat actually. The 350 at Chepstow, Catbird Seat. It's a five-year-old on Kingston Hill trained by Alan King. It runs a lot on the uh, if it runs it's on the flat on the on the goo Wolverhampton he won in, in April there of America 60 it's now rated 70 it's a trappy little affair but uh, I just thought that he he was 3 to 1 earlier I think he's into 5 to 2 now uh, maybe a 2 point win on that I had a good look at the 3 o'clock at Sedgefield it's a mare's maiden hurl but it's it's tricky there's an Irish one gone over from uh, Pat Turley and there's one then uh, out of Chiraco, Immerell. And the favourite could be hard to beat because it was placed in a lifted bumper in that as well. Um, she used to be with uh, Sam Curling, wasn't it? And it's with Laura Morgan now. So uh, I just left it so because I, I was between two and I didn't want to uh, be giving back money to the bookies. So anyway, um, I'm going to have a cup of tea now and I'm going to get out the forum for York and try and get a few for uh, Wednesday. So... Cutting it short, Mickey D, um, over and out, bash the bookies.